My wife grew up rough and she had a very, very hard time due to personal issues her parents weren't in the picture and she was left to fend for herself. She was forced to do a lot of things against her will, like literally live in the back of a gas station or stores at the age of 16. She's had a lot of things that she had to get out of habit from, like going days without eating, days without showering, severe insomnia, and jumpy at any loud sounds. She's working on them though, and I'm a rather wealthy person, upper middle class, and my wife is the cutest, but it's pretty sad. She gets excited at grocery stores because she's able to get any treat or food she wants, and she's super excited at things that other people would dread. My brother is very spoiled. My parents struggle to parent him, and they have it in at any command he says. He gets off the hook for everything, and they couldn't deal with him, so they sent him to me. I set rules and consequences, like he has to go and donate anything he doesn't use or doesn't fit, and he had to get a job. This was fine, and he was doing better, but lately, my wife has been doing a lot of what I explained before. Jumpy, forgetting to eat, waking up at odd hours, and this was not normal for her recently. I came home from work and overheard my brother and my wife. My wife was asleep on the couch and my brother goes over and purposely bangs on the wall and making siren noises. I've informed my brother on what he can't do regarding my wife. My wife jumped up looking scared and I told my brother who was surprised to go to his room in which he did. And according to my wife, this wasn't the first time he's done this. I was baffled, didn't know what to do. And my brother's 18, he was old enough to know better. I talked to my brother and he said he was just messing with her so she can get over whatever weird fears she has. My brother then proceeded to say that what she had wasn't that bad and she practically got money for free. So I took his stuff, put it in big plastic bags and set them on the driveway and told him to get out. He was taken back and asked if I was just going to leave him out there in the heat. Mind you, it was 76 degrees outside. He said that just because she was broke doesn't mean that I have to treat him like a hobo. And I took him outside and locked the door. He was banging on the door for a few minutes and then called my parents and told him that he can't stay here. They were about three hours drive away, and I even gave the kid water. When my parents got here, they were pissed. They said that he was rude, but I was ridiculous for such a harsh punishment, and he could have been kidnapped or passed out. He's 200 pounds in a gated community, and I don't feel that bad. This taught him to stop taking things for granted. Am I the asshole for refusing to let my husband pull 14000 out of my account without signing a contract? Disclaimer, this is not my story. I, female 36, have been married to my husband, male 42, for two years. I've never been married before him, but he was married twice and has six kids. He requested our finances be split up, which was fine with me because seeing how he blows through his money is so frustrating. He says he has kids' commitments and has to provide, but I don't think the kids would need that much money to live like the other kids. His bank account is always almost empty while mine has over 20000 in it. We take turns paying for daily expenses and stuff. Lately, he's been struggling with money. He borrowed from a number of people, including my own brother, about 4000 from him just a week ago. He just seems really desperate for money. I asked him what the deal was and he said that he needed the money for the kids which seemed fishy since kids don't really need that much money for their expenses. His oldest kid is 16. He then came and asked me to borrow 14000 Am I the asshole for refusing to let my husband pull 14000 out of my account without signing a contract? Disclaimer, this is not my story. He came and asked to borrow 14000 from me, pull it from my account, and put it into his. I tried asking him what he needed the money for, but he said it was none of my business and insisted that he'll return it ASAP. I said okay, but under the condition that he'll sign a contract stating he'll return the money in full. He acted all shocked and offended and went on about how I don't trust him and his word. I told him that's all I got and this was my one and only condition. He kept ranting about how I'm refusing to help and making the situation more difficult for him instead of cooperating. I insisted on a contract to be signed before he even pulls a penny and this morning I told him this one more time. He blew up and said that we're family and that I should be ashamed for involving courts and lawyers between family things. He left the house and was so upset he hasn't responded to any of my calls yet. So am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for telling my sister she overreacted when she screamed at me for entering her and her husband's room? Disclaimer, this is not my story. So I, female 23, am a full-time college student. Right now I'm living with my sister, Claire, and her husband, Thomas, while I get through my current semester. I don't work, so I don't have everything I need for my daily skin or hair routine, so I borrow stuff from Claire. Claire didn't have an issue in the beginning, but then she started complaining about me randomly walking into her room, but I go in there looking for stuff I asked for. She gave me a hard time just because I walked in on Thomas half-naked to get the eyeshadow I borrow from her, and then that other time that I walked in late at night. She told me I needed to get her permission to enter the room before I take anything, but I figured this would make things complicated. It's already enough that I have to ask to borrow an item. So last night at around 10pm, I went upstairs and into the bedroom to grab a hairdryer. I walked in and accidentally saw them in an intimate position together in bed. 
I had no idea they were doing that, especially since Claire had told me that Thomas has been feeling sick the past two days. Am I the asshole for telling my sister that she overreacted when she screamed at me for entering her and her husband's room? Disclaimer, this is not my story. She lashed out at me yelling for me to get out. I quickly grabbed the hairdryer then walked out and shut the door. Minutes later, she came downstairs in her robe and went off on me saying that she was done with me repeatedly disrespecting and violating her and her husband's privacy. I told her it was fine and it was no big deal and that I needed the hairdryer but didn't have time to ask for permission. She got even louder saying I had no business barging into her marital space and embarrassing her and her husband like that. I told her that I was sorry but she really overreacted to this whole thing. This made her more pissed she went on about how I'm living here rent free and yet not being respectful enough. I stopped arguing with her and went into my room. This morning Thomas left the house early and Claire ignored me during breakfast. She's still upset and said that I don't get to say whether she overreacted or not and that my behavior was inappropriate. She wants me to apologize to her husband for making last night awkward. Am I the asshole for still going to my sister's wedding after my husband canceled my plane ticket? My husband, 36, and I, 30, have three kids, two, four, and seven. I'm a stay-at-home mom full-time, and I take care of the kids while my husband works full-time. My sister's wedding was last week, and we live hours away, which is an issue for my husband. When we first got the invite, he told me he wasn't going and that he'll stay with the kids and suggested I do the same. Since the wedding doesn't allow kids and my husband doesn't want to hire a babysitter after the one we had robbed us. I insisted on going because that's my only sister and I want to attend what might be a once-in-a-lifetime event for her. He chuckled at my statement and then we stopped talking about it. As the wedding was approaching, he brought it up and told me to miss it and stay with the kids. I offered to get my friend to stay with the kids, but he refused. I ignored him, spoke to my friend who agreed to watch the kids, and booked a ticket. My husband found out and went on about how he had work and that the most logical solution is I stay home with the kids and let him make his living. I said that I already took care of the kids and they'll stay with my friend. Honestly, I grew impatient and the day of the flight, I dropped the kids at my friend's place and headed to the airport. Am I the asshole for still going to my sister's wedding after my husband canceled the plane ticket? At the airport, I found out he canceled my plane ticket. I was upset but still insisted on going, so I went home, got in my car, and drove four hours to get to the town. At 5 p.m., my husband called and was freaking out, asking where I was. I told him I made it to my sister's town, and he blew up saying I wasn't supposed to go. Even said he canceled my ticket to get me to stay. He demanded I return, but I said not until the wedding was over. He called me a horrible, neglectful mom, and his mom accused me of abandoning my own kids. We had a huge argument when I got home, and now he's giving me the silent treatment. Am I the asshole for not wanting my parents to adopt my ex-fiance? My female 24 ex-fiance, male 24, and I were together for seven years. He proposed last fall, and we mutually decided to break up in May. He always got along incredibly with my parents, especially my father. They always treated him like he was one of their children, and my parents have always told him he's part of the family. For example, he started coming on family vacations with us when we were 17. It was a very tough decision to end a relationship, but we both agreed it was for the best. He moved out and I'm finishing up our lease term. And now he's living with my parents. Am I the asshole for not wanting my parents to adopt my ex-fiance? His plans fell through last minute and he moved in with my parents for a little while while finding a new place. I felt weird about him moving into my childhood bedroom and being at my parents' house a fair amount. We had some awkward interactions, but we did get past it. He moved out in August and I thought that was that. Last night, my parents invited me over for dinner and sat me down and explained that since the wedding was off, my ex-fiance wasn't going to be part of the family by marriage. They wanted to adopt him. They asked him last week and he agreed as long as I'm okay with it. I'm not and I told them I'm really uncomfortable with that. I'm the asshole for asking my boyfriend to do more chores. I'm 28 and my boyfriend of two years, 44, had moved in together a year ago. We had an argument about it some days ago and he tries to make me understand his point of view, but I'm not sure I can accept it. When I was living alone, I would do the daily chores, cleaning dishes, doing laundry, plus the chores of the room by week. It's a way for me to clean the house without doing too much and I wouldn't have to absolutely rush cleaning if someone came over. 
I tried to keep it this way of doing things little by little when we moved in together, but it has been hard since. If I don't start cleaning, he will not start either, and he will not do chores unless it's critical. For example, he'll only do laundry if he doesn't have any clean underwear, but never more even if the bed sheets need to be washed. And that's apparently up to me. And this applies to dishes, laundry, dust, vacuuming, trash, everything. I made a list of things I used to do for the week, and I even put chores that I do. I've talked to him about it, and it's becoming an issue. He explained to me is this. I have higher standards of cleaning than him, so it's hard for him to meet my standards, as he can tolerate more dirt than me and i even lowered them since being with him he has a hard time i guess following plans and i just can't do it alone so i'm in the wrong